Hello everyone, welcome to Baidu's exam prep, most comprehensive learning platform. So today I am going to discuss about the important instruction given in your admit card. So before starting this session, let me tell you that there are only 80% students out of the total registered students that have downloaded the admit card. So there is a very high probability that again uh, the students, those who have registered in the gate examination, there will be only 70 to 80 percent students that are actually going to appear in the gate examination. So that is a good news for you because if you are listening this particular session, that means you are interested to download the admit card and you want to appear in the gate examination seriously. So uh, because if the less number of students are going to appear, then definitely the competition will be less. So let's start the session and before starting the session, let me introduce myself. So this is Sakit Verma and I have more than 12 year experience in the field of GATE and ESE. I have done MTech from IIT Guwahati and I have mentored lakhs of students. So this is the important instruction for the candidate. So let me read the first question without any delay. Uh, that is the first of a point is a printed copy of admit card must be presented for verification along with the original not photocopy or a scanned copy. So it would be better if you will take the color print out of your admit card because if you take the black and white print out it may look like a photocopy even though it is not. So because of the printer uh, it may be possible that it is not appearing very you know uh, real original. So it is better if you take the color print out with the valid photo identification identification proof so whatever uh, photos identification like you have the passport pen card voter id aadhar card driving license etc you can use it for particular process like you know uh, that when you go into the center you should have with your uh, admit card which is a color photocopy and along with that you should have these valid photo IDs and you should also take two photographs passport size in which your photo is clear and only carry those particular valid ID proof which is in which the photo is clear okay so soft copy of the admit card is not acceptable because most of the time we nowadays carry a soft copy and obviously when the phone is not allowed then how the soft copy will be allowed okay so candidate must bring an additional recent valid photo id as we have said and the second point is now to facilitate the verification of their identity by the center officials candidate must report to the examination menu at least 90 minutes before the schedule commencement of the examination candidates will not be allowed to log in 30 minutes after the start of examination so it is always better if you reach at least one and a half hour before so that you will also be relaxed you can also chill out there you can keep your mind you know in the cool and uh, also you can have the uh, you know mental peace that yes you have appear uh, you are you have uh, already reached to the uh, you know sent examination center then you can relax you can just recall you can keep yourself calm you can uh, you know meditate if you want to increase your concentration in the next three hours so whatever you want to do you can do in this one and a half hour before if you reach and obviously why they are calling because they want to check their your identity then it is again better to reach before the time and again after the 30 minutes of the logging that means if you have the examination at 9 30 suppose then you cannot be allowed to enter for after 10 o'clock okay and at 2 o'clock it will not be later than 2 30 pm so candidate can log in and start reading the instruction 20 minutes before the start of the examination so you might have appeared in the mock test uh, given by the iit kanpur in the iit kanpur website of the gate so you you are you will be allowed to log in before 20 minutes of the examination where you will only be allowed to read the instruction so the same instruction that you might be seeing in the uh, your uh, mock test the same is you will get the in uh, in this particular instruction also in the original gate examination now during the examination a virtual scientific calculator will be allowed 
okay a virtual scientific calculator will be allowed to on the computer screen which may be used for the numerical calculation personal calculator mobile phones watches of any kind of any electronic devices are strictly prohibited so you should know that you should not carry any any uh, electronic gadgets with you okay and the virtual calculator will be presented there in the screen itself candidate should not bring any chart tables paper books etc okay and no heavy ornaments and the very important point is about the scribble pad that is the scribble pad will be provided for the rough work you know that we have many videos in our channel also that how to utilize the scribble, scribble pad but here there is a good news that you will be able to take another scribble pad after finishing up the first one and uh, when you will get you have to submit the first one so when you will get the scribble pad you have to write the admit uh, your name and the registration number and after using that you have to return it to the invigilator and then you can take another scribble pad so that means you will have a scribble pad one at a time so that is the important point that you cannot write anything on the scribble pad one which you want to use later because it may be possible after one and a half hour or one hour you might complete or you might finish the scribble pad and now then you want to use that data uh, you want to use another scribble pad and you have already submitted but you have written some data in the scribble pad number one then you will not be able to access that again so very careful if you want to review any question later on then just mark it on the screen itself in your uh, online test itself there is a option for the preview later right so you can preview it later so that would be better habit if you have uh, already five to six days and more than that then you can just uh, have this practice that you should always mark the question for preview in the uh, test cbt itself not on the scribble pad because it may be possible you might be submitting that scribble pad and you might be using uh, that new scribble pad when you are reviewing that question again okay or if you have written suppose then before taking the second scribble pad you have to go to uh, that question itself and then after solving that question only you submit the scribble pad that can also be done okay now if we go to the seventh instruction candidate must bring their own pen pencil transparent water bottle you can keep and uh, you know a uh, mask you can keep pocket size hand sanitizer you can keep so the transparent water bottle should be there that you can directly purchase from the market that is or you can keep from home also candidates are not allowed to bring any items other than those mentioned above gate authorities are not responsible for safe keeping of the candidates personal belongings if the candidate is found to possess any of the prohibited items the candidate will be deregistered barred from the examination and or subjected to the disciplinary action which may include the ban from the appearing in the future examination so they may uh, you know ban you for the future examination also so you should must be uh, you know careful about what should you should not keep with you and ninth one candidates will not be permitted to leave the examination before the end of the examination and violation of any of the above guidelines including the any personation or breaking of the code of conduct for the gate 23 exam will lead to the cancellation of the candidature or initiation of the legal action candidates are required to follow the prevailing covid 19 related norms are also advised by the government as the advised by the government okay so these are the important instructions hope you have downloaded that and if you have not downloaded just download your admit card uh, just see the your actual center and relax you have to reach examination center before 190 minutes you should say before 90 minutes of the examination okay so there is a perfect strategy session for the gate 24 students you can share this particular session to your juniors also and this session is going to be held today itself in the 7 30 pm and uh, yes uh, so there is a gate exam analysis guys so on the date of examination you can visit our channel so for that you have to subscribe this channel then only you will be able to see your answers uh, the cutoff marks expected ranks what can be the safe score etc etc we will discuss in this exam analysis
okay and there is a gate and ESC test is also running so thank you for watching this session and uh, all the very best for your gate exam